This is U.S. obesity versus sugar and vegetable oil consumption, 1922 to 1987. I, I specifically picked this period of time because we've got, we've shown data. And it, we didn't have time to go into this today, but the sugar consumption, um, it you know, it's been increasing since uh, 1822. Uh, uh, substantially all right but most of the increase in sugar consumption in the u.s was before 1922 as you'll see in this graph so so for those who can see it we can see the sugar is in the green curve and you can see that in 1922 sugar consumption was 473 calories by the end of this graph on the far right in 1987 sugar consumption was 497 calories so that's an increase of 24 calories, right? Uh, between 1922 and 1987. That's an increase of 5%. Now, if you look down at the bottom in blue, you see the vegetable oil consumption in 1922 was 78 calories. And that increased in the far right to 1987 to 550 calories. So what happened to the obesity during this time? It was 2.95% in 1922. Um, it was 18.6% in 1987. So to summarize, during this period, 1922 to 1987, sugar increased 5%, vegetable oils increased 605%, obesity increased 532%. And I want to remind us all, this is a 65-year period of time. This data right here to me is incredibly powerful because for those who are sugar theorists and who believe that sugar is driving obesity and diabetes and all this, they don't have a leg to stand on when it comes to this correlational data, because you can see here, there is no correlation between sugar consumption and obesity. And it is even, it is even more stark contrast for um, diabetes. You have a graph for diabetes? I do. And I yeah. want to say that while you're looking for the, the graph, this is, this was shocking to me because we're, I'm sure I'm not alone in this, but we keep hearing this rhetoric that, oh, we eat more sugar now than ever before. Our kids eat more sugar now than ever before. You know, when you look around and I do see a lot of kids, like all the soda that they're consuming, for instance, and you got candy at all the functions and even Sunday schools will give out candy if you memorize Bible verses and whatnot. So it seems like it's true, right, Joel? Like <laughs> I'm, I'm not the only one that's seen this. It's, it's, either, it's, that or, it's either that or goldfish. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, exactly. Yeah. And so it just, it seems like the, it, it feels like we consume more sugar, but is that just because I'm a parent now? So I'm just more aware of it? Cause clearly the data is showing that we have not increased that much of sugar intake, you know, at least since the time that I've been alive. Man, so, thank you. You know, think about uh, like Little House on the Prairie books, Cena, and and all the the socials, the taffy pulls, the um, I mean, there, uh, the the amount of maple syrup and honey that was consumed. There was there was a lot of of dainties uh, consumed. I, I've never actually seen this, uh, Chris. But I mean, this is just fascinating to me. Um, maybe maybe you you've got a better handle on that. But but I'm thinking back of the oh you know Little Women and and, and the the old stuff that I've seen or read and they were always going to a party with with sugary dainties. You mean like in the 19th century? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Americans loved their uh, their um, sugary their sweets their treats. They made um, you know if you went to a party you showed up with uh, pies and cakes um, and. Um, they, you can see, if you look at all the cookbooks, uh, often a third of the cookbooks are dedicated to, um, sweets, you know, everything from donuts to, um, pies and cakes and so cookies and so on. So this is why most of the sugar consumption, the sugar increase had already occurred before 1922. But, so this okay. graph. Wait, can I Go ask you ahead, a question please. about that? So yes. would the source of sugar, though, make a difference? So not just, you know, our consumption hasn't really changed, but has our source changed? So I'm thinking back then, maybe we had more like honey or maple syrup. And, and now we'd have like the high fructose corn syrup, like more highly refined processed sugars. Is that true? Like, has that actually changed? And would that make a difference? 
in, in disease yes, that, prevalence. Yes, that, that, it does make a difference, but they weren't using, for the most part, honey and maple syrup in their baking. They were using granulated sugar, okay, um, just like we do, but it would have been, of course, um, organic cane sugar, uh, a cane or beet sugar, I believe, but it certainly would have been organic and, and uh, wouldn't have been coming from, um, you know, wouldn't have been none of the those uh, the <laughs> sources of food would have been sprayed with herbicides and pesticides. That's the that's part of the difference. But okay. and when I'm talking about sugar, by the way, I'm glad you brought this up. So I'm including all forms of sugar. This is so important. I so, it's so hard for me to remember to say this every time. But this this data comes from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations and the um, the USDA, and their their data is both the same. The sugar includes all forms of added sugar, so all forms of table sugar, all forms of syrups, so corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, maple syrup honey, all forms of um, sugar sweetened beverages. The So when I show sugar here, this is every form of added sugar there is. The only sugar that would be in the diet that does, is not included here comes from fruit and vegetables and um, pressed fruits, like, you know, whole fruit juice that was just pressed fruit. So this data, if I go into this one, this is, you asked me to show the, the diabetes uh, graph. So this is U.S. diabetes prevalence versus sugar and vegetable oil consumption, 1922 to 1987. So the data on the sugar consumption between 1922 and 1987 is exactly the same as I presented previously. And then the diabetes, you can see, increased from 0.09% in 1922 to 2.6% in 1987. And... Uh, so let me summarize what happened here. So during this period, again, 1922 to 1987, sugar increased 5%. Vegetable oils increased 605%. Diabetes increased 2,800% or 29 fold. Again, a 65 year period. And it, you know the diabetes at 2.6% in 1987, well, it's the diabetes prevalence is 13% as of 2016 in the United States. And again, and this... Uh, this occurred during a period here. I'll show the very next graph um, on diabetes. You can see here that this this graph on the far left begins at 1991 when diabetes was 2.97 percent, but you can see it increased to 13 percent by 2016. But look at the sugar. After 1999, the added sugar consumption is on the downward trend. Right. It's been going down since 1999. There's two databases, whether you look at the FAO or the USDA. Sugar has been going down either since 1999 or 2004 at the latest. And while obesity and diabetes have gone through the roof. Wow, that's remarkable. Now, so that's sugar consumption in the U.S. Yes. Or, OK, not um, not globally. No, no, no. OK. So no. just U.S., we're seeing the right. sugar consumption go down. Wow. Right. The That's sugar consumption globally has been uh, very, very, very flat uh, over the last number of decades. It's it, very little change in sugar consumption. Um, I think it's, I, I can't remember the ex that exact data, and I don't have it handy here, but I think it changed no more than 5% globally in the last uh, five decades or so. And carbohydrate consumption actually went slightly down since the 1960s through about 2010. It went it went down from 64.5% of calories to 63%. Again, this is global. Um, and uh, But again, the vegetable oil consumption has just been a never-ending increase. So the world's consumption, we're prepared to, we've submitted this for publication, but in vegetable oil consumption globally was, was less than 0 0.1 grams per person per day in 1865. By 2010, I believe the year was, it had increased to over 65 grams per person per day. So in other words, more than a 650 fold increase in global consumption of edible oils between 1865 and about 2010. 